we're going to jump into some tapping now and it'd be really good for those of you watching to think of a situation or memory where you felt you know that that kind of sums up the situation in this poem that you feel that you reacted in into some situation and then felt guilty about it and yeah, and we can do some tapping around that. So thinking about that situation, rate the intensity of your emotion right now on a scale from zero to 10. So zero being calm, light and peaceful and 10 being the most intense emotion. And for those of you who actually don't know what EFT tapping is, it stands for emotional freedom techniques. It's like acupuncture for emotions without the use of needles. And the invitation will be to literally do what we do and say what we say. And if you don't like like it, then don't do it. But for it to affect most, to for it to work most effectively, if you use the words that match how you're feeling. So if I say, I'm feeling really stressed and anxious about this situation, and actually you're feeling frustrated and angry, then use the words that are true to you rather than the words that I'm using. So if you do agree to tap along with us, you then agree to take responsibility for your own well-being. So let's th thinking about a situation, feeling not good enough, feeling maybe guilt. What, what other feelings, Jackie, they don't have to be feelings that you're feeling right now. But when you think about that situation or other similar situations. Yeah, I, think, I think it's disappointment and sadness. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, disappointment and sadness mm. and is that something that you can feel right now or is it something that you know that you felt back then no I think it's on reflection I think yeah I, I think I probably I did feel those feelings then as well but I think it is on yeah on reflection of it that you know yeah it happened and and that it's had some kind of lasting effect yeah mm. okay and where do you feel the disappointment and sadness in your body? In my stomach. Stomach. And obviously for you watching, it might not be in your stomach. So just, you know, notice where it is for you. And what's the sensation in your stomach? It's quite a full sensation. And it's quite like spongy, cloudy. Thank you. Okay, so is there anything else you want to share about that sensation or should we go straight into tapping? I think it's funny, as, as I'm talking, it's kind of, there's also a, like a heartache. Thank you. There. Yeah, those two things. If there was a, an, well, I guess heartache is a physical sensation. Is that the emotion or is there another word for the emotion? Uh, heartache kind of summarises it best, I think, yeah. Is it sort of that mixture of disappointment and sadness and love and longing and yeah. Okay. So we're going to do some tapping and are you happy to be on my echo? Yeah. So for those of you watching, if you, I'm going to say some words and if you repeat them while Jackie repeats them, then that's, then you'll get the benefit from it. So we're going to start with tapping on the side of the hand and just say, even though, even though when I think about that situation, when I think about that situation, I feel disappointment and sadness. I feel disappointment and sadness. It's had a lasting effect. It's had a lasting effect. And I feel it in my stomach. And I feel it in my stomach. There's a full sensation as a full sensation and it feels spongy and cloudy and it feels spongy and cloudy and i'm aware of a feeling of heartache and i'm aware of a feeling of heartache of love and longing of love and longing and i soothe and comfort myself and i soothe and comfort myself and tapping through the points now we're going to start with the top of the head this disappointment this disappointment. When I tune into this memory. When I tune into this memory. It's sorrow actually has come up, sorrow. Thank you, this sorrow. This sorrow. And is that still in your stomach and heart? It's much more in my heart. 
Yeah. And I can feel it in my heart. You can feel it in my heart. This sorrow in my heart. This sorrow in my heart. And are the other things that you mentioned still true or have they? It's moved? very strong, the sorrow. I'd say that's the overriding. Yeah. This sorrow in my heart. This sorrow in my heart. And if there was a colour to this sorrow, what colour would that be? Mm, I think it would be like a tealy green. Thank you. This tealy green sorrow. This tealy green sorrow. In my heart. In my heart. When I think about that situation. When I think about that situation. And its lasting effect. And its lasting effect. I have this sorrow in my heart. I have this sorrow in my heart. And it's tealy green. And it's tealy green. This sorrow. This sorrow. And put your hands in the centre of your chest or your heart chakra and just say transform with a deep breath. Transform. And when you tune in now to that, that sorrow, that, that situation, what's changed? I think the the sorrow is still there, but it's like it's it's like it's layered and there's a few layers that have gone off and it's just sort of the love like love underneath, really. Love for my son. Sorry, I missed that. It's the it's like so the layers, there's like layers of sorrow. Some of them have mm -hmm. gone off, but then it's sort of a feeling of just love, you know, love for my son. Thank you. Yeah. So, so there's sorrow and love now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Good. And for those of you watching, when you, you tune into the number that you gave the situ, the feeling about the situation, and one of three things will have happened. It will. I the number will have hopefully gone down, but it may have stayed the same, and it may have actually gone up. Now, if if you're feeling more intense about that the reason of that will be is because you probably have been pushing that memory to the back of your mind and suddenly you're focusing on it and it's become more real and that's okay it's come to your conscious awareness and if you just repeat the tapping that we've just done or continue tapping with us it will go down now if the if you're still feeling exactly the same there are a lot of reasons that that could be because be, be for that but it's not in the remit of this video so do comment or message me if it has stayed the same even after watching the remainder of this because I can support you in getting better results other things that people notice when they're tapping they might notice uh, tingling in their body they might notice they're taking some deeper sighs or breaths even burping they might notice themselves feeling tired or more energized. So these are all signs that the energy is moving, even if you still feel the same way. And sometimes the other thing that will happen is that you might have new thoughts about that memory or situation or more realizations. So back to Jackie. And if you're watching this live, do type in the comments anything that's come up for you, and I can weave that into the tapping. So let's do some more tapping on this. So even though even though some of the layers of sorrow have lifted some of the layers of sorrow have lifted but there is some left but there is some left and there's also a feeling of love and there's also a feeling of love i soothe and comfort myself i soothe and comfort myself and have i said those words correctly for you yeah i like i like soothe and comfort that's nice mm. yeah that that's actually a colleague of mine introduced that to to me, her name is Shah. I don't know if you've come across her. She's an EFT trainer as well. Well, it's so much nicer than than the you know deeply and completely love and accept myself because that's not always great for people, is it? So soothing no. comfort is yeah yeah soothing so important, especially when we're talking about these kind of emotions. I think mm. yeah, thank you. So just, I know we're tapping, but just to say that Amanda's saying, thank you both, really interesting and can identify with the perfect parenting. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's wonderful and, you know, I feel it. So, yeah, just keep tapping with us. So this remaining sorrow. This remaining sorrow. 
and this sense of love and this sense of love when i think about that situation and i think about that situation and its lasting effects and its lasting effects this remaining sorrow this remaining sorrow is it in your heart still yeah it is yeah i can it's feel smaller it. it's smaller yeah so is it still an ache Y yes, but not not like a chronic ache. It's more kind of a dull ache. Thank you. It's a dull ache. It's a dull ache. Of this remaining sorrow. Of this remaining sorrow. And this love, and this sense of love. And this sense of love. When I think about that situation. When I think about this that situation. And the lasting effects. And the lasting effects. This remaining sorrow. This remaining sorrow. It's like a dull ache. It's like a dull ache. In my heart. In my heart. It's smaller than it was. It's smaller than it was. And I wonder. And I wonder. If I could let a little bit more go. If I could let a little bit more go. And as I say that, what comes up for you? it's funny it's actually like you know it's like there's a like a bud like a flower bud of love mm. and then that that's blooming more so it's not actually the focus on getting rid of the sorrow it's mm. the, the bloom of love beautiful and there's a bloom of love and there's a bloom of love like a flower like a flower what color is the flower it's pink <laughs> beautiful this pink blooming flower this pink blooming flower and love of love of love and this remaining sorrow and this remaining sorrow and i don't know if this is right but this compassion for myself i think it's it's compassion for both of us actually it's not just it's not just for me it's like yeah, the, I guess this image of this image of the flower, it's like a rosebud. You know, so it's lovely because it's love, but it's also got thorns on it. You know, you go like, which is the, you know, things don't always go right, do they? Like it's yeah. a, bit in, a bit of injury. This image of a rosebud. This image of a rosebud. It does have thorns. It does have thorns. And it is beautiful. And it is beautiful. This remaining sorrow and this emerging love. This remaining sorrow and this emerging love. The sorrow is gone. The sorrow is gone. The sorrow is gone. And there's only love. And there's only love. And compassion for both of us. And compassion for both of us. This rosebud. This rosebud. Had a nice exhale then, is that? Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Stepping more, stepping more into rosebud energy. Stepping more into rosebud energy. The energy of love. The energy of love. And how are the thorns? Are they still? What What do the thorns represent now? Well, I think the the thorns represent that there can be these little, like these little ruptures, if you like. I think it's like with the with when you have a rose, you acknowledge that it has thorns and being able to see them. And because I think that's an important part of it. It's, it's, it's unrealistic to think that there aren't going to be instances where we don't behave the way our, you know, our higher self would <laughs> like us to behave, you know? Yeah. But I think the, the opportunity there is if, if, as, uh, is, if is if as a parent, I can recognize that. Mm. I think that's, whilst I would like them not to be there, that's the best that I can do, mm. you know, is to recognise that and, and make amends for that in the ways that I can. Yeah. I'd like them not to be there. I'd like them not to be there. But the truth I try is, for them not to be there. I try for them not to be there. Yeah. But the truth is, roses do have thorns. But the truth is, roses do have thorns. And I choose to focus. And I choose to focus. 
on the beautiful rosebud. On the beautiful rosebud. The pink rosebud. The pink rosebud. That's where I pay my attention. That's where I pay my attention. So I'm infusing pink rosebud energy. So I'm infusing pink rosebud energy. An abundant, of an abundance of love. Of an abundance of love. Into myself. Into myself. And my son. And my son. And our relationship. And our relationship. And I'm sending that pink rosebud energy. And I'm sending that pink rosebud energy. Of love. Of love. Back into all those situations. Back into all those situations. Like the one in the poem. Like the one in the poem. Knowing and trusting. Knowing and trusting. That that pink rosebud energy. That that pink rosebud energy. Is healing and softening those memories. Is healing and softening those memories. Does that feel okay saying that? Yeah. Yeah. So it, there's no resistance to that or? No. Great. And infusing pink rosebud love energy. And infusing pink rosebud love energy. Into my son as he grows up, into all my children. Into all of my children. As they grow up into adults. As they grow up into adults. Bringing that pink rosebud love energy. Bringing that pink rosebud love energy. Into their lives, in, in, into every aspect of their lives. Into every aspect of their lives. As they move forward. As they move forward. And is there anything else that you want to add to that or change or modify? No, I think that, that really sums it up really well. Okay. So just say transform with a deep breath. Transform. So how are you doing? Yeah, good. I, yeah, that feels so much like karma. And I love the, tra I've not done that transform thing before at the end. I like that. It feels like it sort of bookends the, kind of, you know, contains the energy in a nice way. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's something that Pete, my husband, Peter, who's also an EFT trainer, he's created. It's a subconscious keyword for lots of powerful healing statements to be happening in the background. Mm. So, so, yeah, it'd be really nice to hear how other people have done. Please do share in the comments.